What's going on everybody? Jason here. In today's episode, we're going to Taki's Auto Service here in Okinawa, Japan. Got a lot of cool rides out on their lot and one that really caught my eye was a Skyline police car. So we're definitely going to go check that out. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. All right, first things first. What would be a business in Okinawa without a vending machine? Part of the corner of the street. And check this out. So it looks like a Ken Mary GTR. All kitted out to look like a Japanese police car. We're gonna walk around the outside and check everything out. There's old 180, it's got a bunch of Sharpie written all over it. So Takis, I'm pretty sure, is a body shop. Uh, they're a pretty big name out here. Every car meet I go to on another vending machine. Um, I see a few of their cars show up. And I don't know if you guys saw the video I posted maybe about a month ago. I found a random junkyard kind of close by here. It was actually like a few streets down that way and a few of the cars said uh, Takis Auto Service on it. So uh, I'll post a link below. You guys go check that out. Here's a old Toyota Crown. Here's a real old Toyota Chaser. Don't know what this is. I'm not too good with the old Japanese cars. I know a few of them. But this looks kind of like a... I'm going to take a stab at it. I want to say it's a Toyota Chaser as well. Old Toyota Corona. I don't know if these are for sale. I don't know, they've got signs on them. So here's another Skyline police car. So it's an R34. It is a four door, so it's not a GTR. But look at this massive Ram bar on the front. This thing is wild. Get a closer look. got handcuffs sitting on the passenger seat. It is automatic, but it is fully equipped with a light bar and everything. I don't know how I'd feel about if, uh, you know, if I was speeding around town, I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw that front end with that bar. I'd definitely pull over. I don't know about you guys, but I ain't gonna try to mess with it. Most of the police cars here in Japan don't look very intimidating. All right, we're gonna move along. So here is a uh, an S14 Sylvia. Definitely looks like it's rocking a wide body kit. It is under a car cover. But look at these wheels. There's a beautiful RX-7 for all the FD guys out there. Nice little wide body kit. Sitting on the work S1s. Beautiful car. I don't want to snoop around too much. But I definitely got to hit this car up back here. This looks like an old Hakusuka Skyline. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Here's a nice FC RX-7. I'm a pretty big fan of these as well. I like the FDs more, but the FCs I think are still really awesome cars. Dots and Bluebird there, sitting in the back. And look at this old 70s GTR. This thing is ridiculous.
at the interior on this. It even has a uh, old Japan Historics Hot Wheel in the back. It is a Ken Mary Hot Wheel. God, I love this thing. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have been really awesome the past few months, giving me lots of support. I'm over 2,000 subscribers, which was my short-term goal. The next goal is gonna be 5,000. I'm gonna do a big JDM giveaway, so please help me reach that milestone. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna have weekly videos up, sometimes even more. Uh, lots of great JDM content like what you saw today and I'll post a few links of some recent videos down below so you can see what this channel is all about. For those that are returning, love you, thanks so much and you already know the deal. We'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.